Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I have a very special guest right now. This is Ali from India. He came all the way from India to uh, meet me and fly with me. Um, Ali is a bird behaviorist. CVPs, welcome to my channel! It's a beautiful ah! day to be alive. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, hit and smash the subscribe button because we are worth it to be subscribed to. So thank you for tuning in. Guys, it's a beautiful day. Look at where we are. We are right now in a park with palm trees and sun in sunny California. I'm here with Love and Hopi. And I want to show you the new harness that I'm using and what I'm doing. Oh, and here's some musicians. Look at that. Very nice. Very, very nice. So um, there's a lot going on. It's a weekend morning. We're in the park and I'm waiting for uh, somebody that I'm going to meet. But I want to put the GPS on Hopi and get him up in the air and flying. As you guys know, I have a new GPS. Here's the thing. We use this um, aviator harness for seven years now. Now there's a new harness called animal parrot right here and Hopi used to use the tail mount but check this out um he's not tolerating the tail mount anymore he's biting it off oh, oh yeah. so now i have this new harness and the clip for the gps is on his harness so let's clip on the gps so here's the gps all what i have to do it's already all set it's blue i clip it in here like that that's as easy as that and I just say Hopi go fly <laughs> there you go good job good job Hopi there he goes there he goes there he goes <laughs> he just took off <laughs> where is Hopi he was flying with the GPS this is a backpack and it works it works nice this works great I love it and then here you guys can see that he's breaking off his tail feathers because he's not tolerating the tail mount anymore I love oh the Gatner uh, love has a phobia against Gatners so I'm gonna go to another spot because he screams and hate Gatners hello hello <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I know they are biggest parrot in the world. <laughs> wow. Alright. This is our field and there is a baseball game. He wants to fly. I go no. No. You're not getting this GPS. Love is trying to get his GPS out of his backpack. Love no. No. Hey, hope he is trying to get off. Yes. Oh, Hopi. No, you're not gonna bite that. Uh, so, this is what's happening. No, you're not gonna bite that. Little hyacinth. Hyacinth. No. So, I wanna show you this new GPS. This new method. This is the first time that Hope is flying with this backpack. GPS. I put the tail mount clip on the um, harness instead of his tail. Here's his name, Hope. And here's his phone number. But he's not used to this flying system. He's been flying with his tail mount all these years. And Love threw an eye on the GPS because guess what? He loves to... Sh no. He loves metal. He wants to play with metal. No. Hope, stop chewing on it. Stop chewing on it. Stop chewing on it. Oh, 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 Don't bite his harness. They're curious because it's new. 
Don't bite his harness. There, there's a, there's a whistle. has so much energy you want to go fly hey guys we have a surprise for you i have somebody who reached out to me on instagram who came all the way from india to meet me here he is you made it yeah, yeah. nice meeting you nice meeting you too all the way from india yeah. oh. Oops. <laughs> he doesn't like yeah. hugs <laughs> hi hello Opie. good job Opie. Guys, we have a new harness, so we are flying with this new system with the GPS on the backpack. Uh -huh. And he has to get used to it because usually he has a tail mount. But today we are flying with the backpack harness. He doesn't like it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, he doesn't like it. And this guy, my my highest in love, is always trying to grab the the GPS because he wants to like um, play with it. He loves uh. metal. Oh really? He Hyacinths love metal. Somehow he loves to play with metal. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool. So you have only these two birds or you have Oh no, I have nine. Oh you have nine. I okay. have nine parrot. Oh nice. Yeah. Wow. So tell me something about you. So first of all, why did you want to meet me? Yeah, I mean, so I am a bird behaviorist and a trainer, so I am super excited to meet people who are into exotic birds, especially, you know. And I promote kind of keeping the birds outside the cage and letting them go free fly. So I have been watching your videos. Cool. So this was super cool. And I was visiting US and I had these two uh -oh. days which I could have come over. So yeah. that made me feel that I should meet. And uh, yeah, I mean, do some, you know, collaborative videos where we can help promote how to keep these birds and also give them what they need. Right. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Very cool. So how many birds do you have? I have two. Uh, two I birds. have blue bird macau and so I have two which is with me and I keep getting birds for training and grooming. Uh -huh. So I train them for free flying and I groom them, raise them and then give it back to the owner. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Very nice. Hey, uh, so my name is Ali. I am. I have an Instagram handle and a YouTube handle called Fancy Feathers. I am primarily into bird behavior and training. And um, I love keeping exotic birds, especially macaws. And, um, you know, it was a pleasure coming here and meeting you, Caroline. <laughs> and, Thank you. And uh, I, you know, all the way flying from India. It was fun. <laughs> Uh, amazing to see hyacinth macau on my hand. Uh, have you ever held a hyacinth macau before? Uh, no, I have not. This is your first time? This is my first time holding a hyacinth macau. Uh, oh, cool. It's really amazing. Like, I mean, the second largest macau is green wing macau yeah. uh, that I have. Uh, but yeah, I mean, amazing to see uh, such a large bird and such a beautiful creature uh, it is. Yes, he's stunning. Yeah. Was it more than you expected or just as you expected? No, it's it's more than I expected. I mean, uh, it's so beautiful uh, and it's very well tamed and trained, right? I mean, yeah, he's very docile. It's very docile and um, letting me uh, hold him yeah. Yeah, easily. Oh. Oops, uh, <laughs> hello, I'm hello. sorry. He wants to come. Let him fly over. Come on. Yeah. Come on, love. Hello. Come on. Come fly. Come fly. Push him or... No, just let him. Come on. One. He's gonna come on his. Wait, let you me want readjust. To keep the leash always on. Yeah, let me. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, 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 go back. How do you like this park? Oh, this is amazing, and the weather today is beautiful. Yes. Right? I mean, I was so I'm coming from Seattle. You know the weather there. Yeah. So Rainy. I was like, you know, double coated jackets, everything. Yeah. And then when I came here, it was so amazing. Uh, weather is beautiful. The birds are so beautiful. I <laughs> I always wanted to uh, get get a hyacinth macau on my hand. No, no biting. No biting. No. So, no. This is no. such an amazing bird, right? I mean, come on, uh, come on, come on, come fly, come fly. So 
that I am making though. He won't. Yeah. He comes on his own terms. <laughs> Let me film for a YouTube video. Yeah, film for a YouTube video. I'll come over here. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I have a very special guest right now. This is Ali from India. He came all the way from India to uh, meet me and fly with me. Um, Ali is a bird behaviorist and he has two birds. Yes. Two free flight flight birds. Green wing and blue gold macaws. Yes, yes. And he just wanted to meet me and see my highest in Macaw and how Hope fly. Hope is right now up in a tree calling. Yeah. <laughs> He's happy. We're about to put in the GPS tracker on him and um and then we're gonna get everything rolling. So go check out his his, his channel. What's your handle? Uh Fancy Feathers India. There you go guys. So uh in India now like I mean these birds are quite legal and you can keep them but there are regulations like you have to register them on one of the government portal which forest department uh, governs oh. so now that it is legal but still people do not know whether birds can be kept outside the cage oh. they need to be free fly etc so that's what something which i am promoting and i'm trying to go meet people and learn how do they do that and, yeah. and some of that I am, you know, trying to educate people who are, uh, you know, adopting these birds or uh, taking these birds as pet. So, yeah, I, I thought like while I'm in US, I should definitely meet you. So it was, that's how I came here. Yeah, it was just like so spontaneous, like out of the blue. Like <laughs> I just got an email from you on Instagram. I never even hear about your channel or yeah. even like you. And I, you were like, hey, I'm in America. Can I meet you? I was like, <laughs> who, who are you? <laughs> I was like, and I had to check him out. So I check out his Instagram. I was like, okay, he seems like Legit, he has birds <laughs> so I was like sure yeah. you know and then uh, we kind of coordinate this time to come down and you made it happen yeah. and you came down and book your flight down here so that's really cool yeah and the best part is like uh, meeting today at this amazing place with a beautiful weather like I mean yeah. I am coming from Seattle the weather was not that great there uh, I was not sure how and what we are gonna do outdoor yeah. but uh, coming here and having a great weather it's like icing on a cake yes yeah. and this park is one of the most beautiful park in Los Angeles look at the palm trees back there yeah. here's a basketball court there's a tennis a baseball court here's a playground for kids barbecue area like this this is such a beautiful park I love to free fly my birds here and people know us we are kind of like known here in this park Oh, nice. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. I think uh, we have uh, love here and hope on the tree. Uh, <laughs> I hope hope comes down. <laughs> he will eventually. Like, yeah. you know, he will. Like, I started flying him with this new harness system and he hates it. He's so smart. Hope is so opinionated. He knows. That's why uh -huh. he's like trying to avoid it. Macau. This is the highest in Macau. And that up there's a rainbow macaw, Catalina macaw. It's up in the pine? Tree. Yes, yes. Yeah. I thought I heard something different <laughs> yeah. up there. Yeah. Oh, there you are! Come on! Come on, Harry! There you are! <laughs> Hello! Hi guys, so this video is all about Hyacin Macau. I have Catalina, oh uh, sorry, I have Caroline uh, with. Uh, you know his her beautiful birds uh, and this is Hayasin Macau uh, his name is Lau he's five year old and uh, this is world's largest Macau uh, called Hayasin Macau if you see the beak uh, it's very very large uh, they are known for their beautiful uh, color which is blue color and their eyes are yellow and there is a small patch on uh, face as well which is yellow color we are here in uh, los angeles california in uh, amazingly beautiful weather uh, with hyacinth macau so yeah uh, guys this is now a five year old male hyacinth macau a fully groomed fully grown a very well tamed and very well uh, kept bird i would say so 
thanks to Caroline for keeping them greatly and she's such an amazing person and I was so nice meeting her and birds here so yeah I mean this is Hayasin Lao Caroline this is something special for you from all the way from India oh, wow. uh, this is a specially handcrafted textile oh, uh, these are pillow covers handcrafted wow. uh, I hope you like it uh, and this cool. is especially for you for the amazing work you have been doing and the way you keep the words. I'm so inspired. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is a small uh, <laughs> gesture for you. Thank you, you so really much. Like that is so thoughtful. I wasn't expecting anything. So no thank you so much. You really no blessed me. <laughs> thank you. Oh, <laughs> love wants to see it. Love, it's just a pillow cover. Great India. It's yeah. Um, everything here is like handcrafted and uh, wow. you know I mean what you will find is like uh, these are special textile uh, very pure cool. co uh, cotton and have even uh, pillow covers so very I hope cool. you like it and it fits in your house too yes you know, uh, aesthetics as well thank you not much of choice left so yeah once you marry person with a bird love, you have to love birds. Yeah, yeah. you can see right here, somebody yeah. poop on you. <laughs> That's the love. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I have Ali here. I brought him home after free flying in the park. He, I wanted to show him our golden conyers and also Glory, my other highest at Maka. And everybody's out. There are my Amazons. Here's Love and Hopi. And then over there is a uh, happy, my African gray. And then somewhere flying around is angel or lower key. So this is a house of nine birds. What wow. do you think? Oh, that's amazing. And I really like how you have kept them. Like you have given your entire space to these birds. So it's uh, kind of a paradise for these birds and mm -hmm. also a paradise to people like me and you who love birds. So uh such a great thing you have been doing so lovely to see these creatures and see birds mm -hmm. uh, golden canoes are really really amazing yes they're very very rare and yes. really hard to get your hands on and yes. you know i have a male and a female i got them in november so i have them only for three months and they are siblings what siblings like siblings brothers, sisters. yes okay. brothers and sisters they are very bonded as you can see yeah they love each other um, and then I have here my amazing husband mm -hmm. who, who married into birds. <laughs> he had no mm -hmm. choice but to love birds, right? You love birds. <laughs> mm, I love all, all life. All <laughs> life. <laughs> Even if they're insects. <laughs> yeah, he's such a good hearted man. There's Love and Hopi just coming back from free flying, preening each other. And they all coexist here. Hey, you want to take the conures? Yeah. Sunshine, go over. Good girl. Good boy. Good. Yeah. Check this out. This is a storage of nuts. <laughs> oh, wow. This is your favorite. Yeah. Glory? Come on. Go. Go get as much nuts as you want. <laughs> La, come down. Obi, come. You too? Are you go get some nuts? These are macadamia nuts and shells. Behave yourself. Thanks, behave yourself. You got a nap. Love, you want a nap? Love? Love? Have you want a nap? Love? Love? Can I get a nap? Okay. Hopi. Have a nap? And keep, get them to my house over the weekend for, uh, you know, uh, when I have to take them out for free flying etc uh, i live in apartment as well so it's a multi-story apartment it's a 20 floor apartment oh. so i have a balcony which i have kept only for the birds uh, but uh, you know when like i get uh, 
couple of birds for training like for months they send it to me for training uh, usually i do recall train like inside the house you call their name and they come and sit on your hand those no. kind of things do you fly them out of your balcony and they come back to your balcony? No, I don't do that uh, because what happens, so we have like 9 to 10 buildings and if they go circle and at times they get confused and do not come because to them everything looks same. same. Like it's a kind of a, a honeycomb kind of a structure so yeah. you know uh, they get confused so usually i do that when it is like out in the open yeah or individual house which has you know on the terrace if i go and try to fly them yeah Hi, hi, wing. Hi, hi, wing. <laughs> <laughs>